Hi, and welcome to another Morning Cup of Inspiration. You know, I always want to take a minute and share with you a story, uh, something that happened to me a while ago. I was uh, renting a room from a friend of mine, and he had a beautiful home. And um, he was gone one night, and I was at home. It was about midnight. He was getting ready for bed, and he had a, a beautiful big dog, and I said Akita, uh, named Chief. And Chief comes running into my room and just barking and barking and growling. And he goes up to the window, and he's growling and barking. And I thought, what in the world's going on? So I went out and got, got dressed. I got my, my rusty, trusty Louisville Slugger baseball bat. And I went down the hall and in the foyer and went to open the door. And all of a sudden, Chief comes up and he's ready to play. I thought, what in the world? So I thought, okay, go back to bed. So I went back to my room and got back and I got ready for bed and hopped in and went to sleep. Well, the next morning, my mom calls me. And she says, Brian, she goes, what was going on about midnight last night? I go, about midnight? So I don't know, I was getting ready for bed. Why? She said, the Lord woke me up out of a dead sleep and told me I needed to pray for you right then. You were in grave danger. I said, grave danger? Is that? Mom, I was getting ready for bed. She goes, think, anything happened last night? And I said, oh, wait a minute. Chief come running into the room, was going crazy. Uh, out by the window, growling and barking. I grabbed my baseball bat to go out to check it out and... When I got to the front door, he'd stopped, so I didn't go outside. And she goes, well, thank you, Lord. She goes, I know why he woke, why he had wakened me now in, in that deep sleep. It was to pray for you. You were in grave danger. You know, I think of that story, and I go back to John two or John ten twenty seven, where it says, "My sheep hear my voice," and you know, and they they follow me. And my mom didn't just hear God's voice and follow him in salvation. She heard his voice all the time. And he woke her up to intercede for what was going to happen to me. Now, I don't know what was going to happen. I don't think she knows, except that the Lord told her I was in grave danger. That we'd had some break-ins in our neighborhood uh, around that time. So who knows? Uh, they, they, our house had gotten broken into. So they may have been coming back because they wanted to get something that they didn't get before. But I know that I was protected. And I know that my mom's interceding really helped, helped in that matter. But God talked to her. She listened. She heard his voice and listened. So listen for God's voice today. He may be telling you to intercede for somebody else. He may be telling you to intercede for your children, for your family. Or he may be telling you to intercede for a stranger you don't even know. But you may be doing something that God has plans for down the road. And you're going to be blessed by it. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again for another Morning Cup of Inspiration. Have a great day, everybody.